Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today I want to give you guys a look at my 55 gallon low tech planting tank. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of plants that I think are just awesome for beginners. These plants not only are easy to take care of, but they also grow at a pretty decent rate, and they just look pretty cool. So, before I get into that, I want to talk a little bit about my tank setup. Once again, this is a 55 gallon low tech planting tank. I have no pressurized CO2 running into this tank. I don't dose any liquid fertilizers. The only CO2 being produced is that which is produced by the fish. As far as lights, I have a standard T5 light. This is one of those lights that will come with your aquarium if you were to buy a kit, so nothing fancy. Um, for bulbs, I just have a standard 65K white light. Um, for substrate, I have this gravel. Everyone asks me about this gravel. It comes from a nearby lake, which is my little luxury. It comes in all different courses as well. This And this tank is pretty rough. And then and I have and some other tanks, gravel from the same lake, that's almost as fine as sand. So once again, that's just my little luxury, completely free. Underneath that, I have some dirt, which is um, which I bought from Home Depot for only about $6, organic dirt organic soil and it does a great job providing nutrients for my plants. So the first plant on my list for you guys is the Amazon Sword. The Amazon Sword is a very common plant and it comes in many different varieties and it's just awesome. I love this plant because it grows so big and um, it does a great job filling in your tank. I know when I first started I wanted a nice lush tank. I didn't want any bald spots, any empty spots. And Amazon Sword is definitely a great plant for that job. It grows just some very nice long leaves. This leaf right here is about I say maybe 15 inches so they definitely produce some nice sized leaves and they fill in pretty well and on top of that your fish love them they'll grow algae on them which really isn't a good thing but it'll be good for your fish because they could graze algae off of them and they also could be a refuge for fish to hide under so they all they do a, a decent job filling in your tank and they look pretty cool when it comes to caring for the amazon sword they're really low demanding all they ask for is a nutritious substrate which dirt does an awesome job doing that and they ask for decent lights and once again I just have this standard T5 and look at them they're growing like an inch I say an inch every month which in plant life is pretty good especially if you're going low tech so the Amazon sword is the first plant I recommend for beginners provide a good nutritious substrate decent light and it'll do awesome for you the next plant is right next to it and that is water wisteria now for a long time this plant has been growing in this tank and I didn't even know it um, the thing is, I planted this tank a while ago in the substrate, somehow it was uprooted and it was just drifting back and forth. At times it was stuck to my filter, at times it was um, in cracks and crannies behind plants. And look at it, it, it grew nicely and it's about, if I were to spread it out, it's probably about um, maybe 10 inches or something. It's pretty big. And I also trimmed it and put some outside and now I have a tank full of it outside. So it definitely grows pretty awesomely. I think from my experience it grows best at the, sur at the surface, that way you can get as much light as possible. At the surface it will produce many different le um, what I'm talking about, many different roots. And then eventually when it grows those roots you can plant it in a substrate. Now what I did was I grew it, I allowed the roots to grow, and now I tried to stuff it in this driftwood. And it will be cool if it could grow it across this driftwood. So it's a very easy plant to take care of. You could grow it floating. You could grow it um, in a substrate or you could attach it to rocks or anything like that. Definitely a great plant. What also is great about this plant is that it looks pretty cool compared to the Amazon Sword. It gives you a nice little texture, a nice little difference. I know from my experience with these platies, they love it. It's just a great nursery for their young. Their young could hide in this thing and not be found by predators. So it's definitely a great plant. It'll help the life in your aquarium and it'll bring a different look. When it comes to propagating this plant, that's also pretty easy. All you have to do is snip off one of these leaves, let it float, and eventually that thing will grow, produce roots, and you'll have another one the same size. So water wisteria is also a great plant for beginners. Very easy to take care of and it provides a decent look to your aquarium. Another shaped and just odd looking plant in your aquascape. After that, I have the dwarf water lily and there are many different types of water lilies. You have your tiger lotus and just all different types and um, all water lilies from my experience are just very easy to take care of. It's best if you purchase them as a bulb. I know some people sell them just as the plant with the roots but I think it's much easier if you just buy the bulb. What you do with the bulb is you just put it in your tank, eventually it will produce roots. The roots will find the substrate, then it will produce some leaves and eventually it will start looking like these over here which does an awesome job filling in your tank. Now this is just like the Amazon Sword, 
these plants eat out the substrate. They like a nutritious substrate and at the same time they like decent lights. So once you get those two taken care of, you will get some awesome growth. One thing you do have to consider is that these plants are shooting for the top. So you will have some leaves that reach the surface and that can potentially ca cause harm for the plant itself and for other plants because it causes shade. So what you would do is just trim these leaves that get to the top. Other than that, this plant is awesome. My fish just absolutely love this plant because it fills in and just provides so much shade, so much shelter, so much protection, especially this discus. This discus spends the majority of this time over here playing in these leaves, hiding from the other discus who's always trying to kill them. But yeah, it's definitely another cool plant that will fill in your tank and just um, help bring lushness and a different shape to your tank as well and also a different color. You can see these have a nice little pinkish to them so it's definitely a nice little change of shape and color in your aquascape. Okay everyone so the final plant I'm going to show you guys is Anacharis. Anacharis is another great addition to your aquascape because it just once again provides a different shape. If you look at all the plants I showed you guys they all have their different shapes, different types of leaves and I'm just bringing a nice little mixes to your aquascape. You have the long leaves with the Amazon sword, you have the little um, just weird shaped leaves with the water wisteria, you have the lilies with their shape and then you have the Anacharis which is the stem plant of the group. Stem plants from my experience I had no good luck with them they all died However, Anacharis, I'm just having fantastic luck. And um, that's just because they're so easy. They're so hardy. I could grow these plants floating or I could grow them in the substrate. They do good at both. Um, right now, I'm growing mine in the substrate. Now, the thing about these Anacharis, a lot of times when you buy them, they'll grow them in farms and stuff like that. So their leaves will be pretty big because they're used to the power of the sun. However, when you bring them into your tank, especially in low-tech tanks, they will have to transform into a tank into leaves or to a plant that's more suitable for your tank so if you look back there those leaves are more suitable for this tank and the amount of light that i'm providing compared to these that were grown outside where there is much more light but overall these plants are low demand and very easy to take care of and once again they bring a nice uniqueness to your aquascape a different type of plant easy to take care of when these anacharis grow you simply just cut them as they get tall because last week i just trimmed this one he was about almost as tall as that tall to the driftwood, you just cut them in half, trim off the bottom and plant the other one and now you got two plants. So Anacharis, another easy plant for beginners, very um, forgiven and just awesome. So YouTube, that's a look at plants that I've had tons of success with um, and plants that most likely you'll have success with. So if you have any questions about these plants, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll answer you. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you want more, subscribe because I have a fish room. And then these fish rooms, there's stuff that you want to see. But yeah, that's a look at the video, and I'll see you next time.